All right, friends, starting out in a child's pose today. Big toes touching, sitting on your heels. And you could take your time coming down. There's no rush at all. We'll just spend a few minutes in this nice little posture, allowing your spine to kind of round and drape over your legs. Maybe a little wiggling side to side is in order. And we'll just breathe here for a little while. Let your forehead come down to rest on something. If the floor seems far away, use your forearms. Okay, and you can even just put your elbows on the floor and rest your head in your hands if that's more restful. I just want you to be able to let go of your head And feel the back of your neck soft and open. Breathe deeply into your whole entire torso. Front, back, and sides, expanding and contracting with your breath. Cultivate that loud, roaring sound of the breath in your ears. And feel the breath moving in and out of your nose. Notice the temperature of your breath. Take a few more breaths here, just allowing your body to soften before we begin to move. So this is a great posture for starting out. It's kind of a reset button. I just love it because your legs are getting compressed by the weight of your upper body. So your upper body is smooshing, your calf muscles are getting smooshed, your hamstrings, your quads are all getting smashed and massaged. And your spine is in this really nice, rounded, really neutralized shape. So your low back can spread open, especially if you're really breathing into that belly, your low back can really expand. And the back of your neck can let go. So allow your shoulder blades to kind of drip and melt toward the floor here. And then let's play around a little bit. The next time you take in a breath, take in as much as you can and keep going. Hold at the top of your inhale, take in more, take in more and hold for three, two and one. And now exhale completely. Keep going, exhale more, 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 hold. Three, two, and one. And inhale, find a natural, more natural, workable pace of breath again. And we'll start to move from here. So we're gonna get a little bit funky moving up and out of this child's pose. So check it out, we'll do it a few times. So as you're ready, you're just gonna rise up to more of a seat in your child's pose. Take your right hand out to the right, okay? Lean into that right hand and extend your left leg out to the left. So this shape might look familiar, although it's from a different angle than we normally do. This is a supported side plank, okay? And when you exhale, see if you could come right back to your little child's pose. And we'll just do that a few more times, okay? Inhale, coming up, your left hand goes out to the left. Your right leg goes out to the right. Lift up your hips. You're in a supported side plank. And exhale, bring it back to your child's pose. So just do this a few more times with me. Find a nice little rhythm. 
Inhaling up and open. Exhaling down and close. Other side, inhale. Supported side plank. Feel free to keep your eyes closed here. You're bringing some gentle warmth and movement to your joints. Maybe three more times on each side, okay? Child's pose, supported side plank. Two more times on each side. Nice and slow. One more time on each side. Here it goes. Okay, next time you're back in your child's pose, hands to the floor, go ahead and press yourself all the way up to a seat. So you can stay sitting on your heels here, okay? If it's okay and it's not too uncomfortable, lean forward so you can tuck your toes underneath you and then sit back on your heels. I'd say just do it as long as you can stand it, okay? It's is it good for your feet good to get that stretch and open up your toes. But if it's painful, you can always just sit on your heels. Okay, so from here, we wanna to start to open up a little more in the front body, warming up a little more shoulders and hips. So feel free to modify this movement to suit your range of motion and what your practice is like today. Just look over to the right here. We're just gonna drop the right fingers anywhere on the right moving into behind you. So really anywhere that feels comfortable. I'd say start out really conservative, just dropping your fingertips, maybe by your right foot. And then you're gonna lift your hips as much as you like and sweep that left arm overhead. Now this can be a really little movement or it can be a really big movement, you decide. Bring it back to center. Other side, left fingers by the left foot. Inhale, lift your hips, sweep that right arm up and over. And exhale, bring it down. So we're just gonna go side to side like this a few times. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Again, it can be really tiny. You can do the tiniest little lift of your hips if that's more appropriate for you. Okay, or you can warm the whole front body and open it up. Keep breathing, feel the whole chest and shoulder on each side, spreading wide. Maybe two more on each side. You can start to move your fingers more behind you if you like. Keep that big breath moving. One more on each side. All right, coming back around to center. Pause here, should be feeling that in your shoulders and hips. You can ground your palms and your toes are already tucked. So you can come on up to your downward facing dog. So here we are friends, walk out your down dog for just a moment, feel out your, your calves and your hamstrings. Please remember your modifications for down dog are you can bend your knees, you can just drop to your knees if you need a break, okay? So please take breaks, please modify, find variations. Always feel free to play and invent new postures. <laughs> okay, all these postures were invented by people. So here we go, friends. We're gonna start to move and flow a little bit. So we'll take it nice and slow and then maybe we'll uh, energize that little flow a little bit. So moving forward on your inhale, find a plank, heart over thumbs. And remember your plank, can have your knees on the floor at any time. You can always have a knee down plank. 
Okay, with your exhale, tiptoe to your hands and fold. Let your head hang, let your knees bend. All right, we're gonna inhale here and roll it up. Reach up tall, lifting your heart, lifting your whole body. And with your exhale, just reach out to one side. Think of reaching, move your hips in the opposite direction that you're reaching. Inhale back up to center, lift your heart. Let's do the other side. Exhale, reach and move your hips away. Inhale back up, lift that heart. And exhale, drop your hips into a chair squat. Knees pull together, hips down, heart looks up. Inhale all the way back up to standing. And exhale here, hinging at your hips. Come all the way down. On your inhale, halfway up, unroll to look forward. And on your exhale, all the way down. Okay, palms are down on the floor here. With your inhale, step it back to a plank. Remember your knees can be down for this. Okay, we're gonna get a little funky here with a side plank. So exhale here, halfway down. Just put your elbows on your ribs. You can do your knees down, okay? And with your inhale, come up to a side plank. So reach up with your right hand, okay? Roll onto your sides of your feet. You can drop a knee if you need to, okay? We're gonna do the other side. So exhale here, back down to your plank. Again, come halfway down. So you can do all this with or without your knees. Inhale back up to your plank. And let's try the other side. Left arm up, drop your heels to the right. We'll do all this again, don't you worry. Okay, exhale here, down to your plank again. Again, halfway down. Nice, inhale, just up to one nice little plank. And exhale all the way down this time. Elbows scraping in by your ribs. Okay, here's a nice little cobra. So grab the mat, inhale, pull your heart up and forward. Spread open your shoulders. And exhale here, tuck your toes. Come on up to downward facing dog. You can come up through hands and knees. Or if you like a challenge, try coming up through a plank. Either way, I'll meet you in a down dog. Walk it out. So you can feel some warmth building in your joints, I hope. We're gonna do that again, okay? Maybe a little teensy tiny bit faster. So here goes, friends. Inhaling here, heart forward to a plank. Remember your plank options. Exhale here, walk to your hands and fold. Remember you can bend your knees. Inhale, roll this yourself up, come all the way up. Okay, exhale here, reaching out to one side, move your hips the other way and pull that belly button in. Inhale here, stand it up tall. Other side on your exhale, reach to the side, pull your hips in the opposite direction. Inhale, bring it up, lift that heart. And exhale here, drop it down into a chair squat. Lift your heart, drop your hips, knees toward each other. Inhale, bring it up to standing, and exhale, fold it all the way down. You can bend your knees. Halfway up on your inhale. And exhale, big fold, maybe even hug your legs. Okay, palms are down here. Inhale, step it back to your plank. We're gonna do that little side plank flow again, okay? Exhale, halfway down, scrape your elbows on your ribs. Inhale, right hand up. Heels drop to the left, side plank. Maybe the knee is down, okay? Left knee down. Exhale, down to your plank. Halfway down, elbows to ribs. Inhale, up to your plank. Left hand up, heels to the right, left side plank. Exhale, down to your plank. Halfway down, elbows to ribs. Inhale, all the way up to plank and all the way down on your exhale. Scrape your elbows all the way down. Okay, a cobra on your inhale, grip the mat. Heels, or uh, toes pressing down as your heart lifts up. And exhale here, press it up and back. Find a downward facing dog. Walk it out. Okay, notice warmth building in your body. We're gonna do that one more time. Okay, that whole flow one more time. 
maybe a teensy bit faster now that we're warmer. Here goes, inhaling, find your plank. Exhaling to your hands, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale to one side, pull the belly in. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, bring it up, lift that heart. Exhale, down into your chair squat, drop your hips, lift your heart, knees together. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, fold it down, hinge. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold on your exhale. Palms are down, inhale to plank. Okay, ready for that side plank flow. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, side plank, however you like it. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, other side plank. Exhale, one more time, halfway down. Inhale, back up to your plank. And now slowly scrape your elbows all the way down. Inhale here, cobra, lift that heart. Exhale here, downward facing dog. Walk it out here in downward facing dog. Just notice your heels walking toward the mat. Notice your shoulders, pull the elbows inward. Okay, find a lot of length in your waist. Like you wanted to make your belly as long as you could. Pushing the mat with your hands, pulling it back with your feet, drawing the knees and elbows inward. All right, friends, let's keep moving. So we'll start to get a little bit more into some standing postures. So inhaling here, lift that right leg up and out behind. Exhaling here, draw that right knee forward and plop the foot down between your hands. Maybe you float it down instead of plopping it. Okay, drop that left heel. Left heel is now on the floor with the left toes pointing forward-ish. So with your inhale, you can come up to a warrior one. So come on up, warriors. Take a moment here with me in warrior one. Should feel nice on that left hip as you really ground into the outer edge of your left foot. So do your best to press down that left outer edge, maybe even lifting the left arch if you could even if it's just the feeling of lifting it, okay? Hips and shoulders are facing forward in the direction that you're looking. Okay, and you're having to pull forward on that left hip a little extra. Think of pulling back on the right hip as well. Let's make both of the legs really strong, okay? Push down into them and at the same time, draw them toward each other. Let's take three more breaths here in your warrior one. You might even interlace your fingers overhead and make a little fancy yoga gun that shoots out peace and sparkles and point it behind you. Lift that heart up toward the sky. Two more breaths, big breath in. One more big breath here, warrior one. And then as you exhale, open your arms wide, face your hips and shoulders out to the left, find your warrior two, okay? Hold here in warrior two, I'll spin around to face you. Hey, remember your strong legs, your strong legs are still in the same position on the floor. Okay, we've just turned out to the side. So keep the strong pushing down, the strong pulling in in both legs. Same outer edge of the left foot smooshing into the floor. Okay, we have the shoulder blades down the back. We're kind of dropping into that right hip. If you need a break, you can extend the right leg, okay, at any time. But let's play around a little bit. We're gonna move, try to keep your legs rocking and strong and stable. As you inhale and slide this left hand down your left leg, you're gonna reach the right hand up overhead. Big breath in. Exalted warrior, okay. Exhale here, send that right elbow forward to rest on your right knee. You can reach the left arm up. Let's do that again. Okay, inhaling here, exalted warrior, left hand slides down your left leg, right arm up, overhead, maybe to the left. And exhale, extended side angle, right elbow to right knee. 
left arm up. So I want you to just find a moment where you can just flow between these two postures a few times. Inhaling, opening up that right side. Exhaling, opening up the left side. The legs stay really strong and stable, almost like you're trying not to move them at all. Starting to feel that warmth building in the legs. Let's do it three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Big breath in. Okay, one more. Inhale to exalted warrior. Exhale to extended side angle. And hold here, an extended side angle. Just want to play around a little bit. So you can stay right here. If you would like a little challenge here, you can drop this left hand across your back. You can even just grab your right thigh. You can grab that hand on the left hand to the right thigh. You can reach the right hand out. Think of it being in line with your left leg and your torso. So a little challenge here. Breathe, drop into the legs, push the floor. If you want more challenge, you can do both arms reaching out to the right. Whew. Push into those legs, getting warm. One more big breath here. And we're letting it go. Drop your hands down inside that right foot. We're gonna pop up the left heel, okay? Let's see if we can bring the right leg up and out to a three leg dog. So right leg up and out behind you. As you exhale, bend that right knee, point the right toes to the left and pull back on that left hip. Drop into the right shoulder. Take a few breaths here in a scorpion posture. Big breath, right shoulder down, left hip back as you lift the right knee. One more breath here. Feel free to extend that right knee to reach the toe up if it feels right. And then we're letting it go. Drop the right foot next to the left. Ah, walk it out. Okay, notice how the legs are feeling. All right, so we'll take a little, a little vinyasa in between before we go to the second side. As always, feel free to skip it and take a break. If you need a little child's pose in your life, you can just hang there. Otherwise, here we go. Inhaling here, roll your heart forward, find a plank. Now that we're warmer with your exhale, you can hop or step to your hands and fold. Roll it up on your inhale. Okay, same thing as before. Exhale to one side, lift that belly button up and in. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, drop it into a squat. Look up, knees together. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, fold it down. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down. Inhale to plank, you can hop it or step it. Exhale, halfway down, same little side plank flow, okay? Inhale up to a side plank, just pick one, okay? However you like to do it. If you want extra challenge, float the top leg. Exhale down to your halfway down plank. Inhale up to your other side plank, either knee down for less challenge or leg up for more. Exhale down to your halfway plank. Inhale one more plank and exhale all the way down. Scrape your elbows all the way down. Inhale here, nice little cobra, pulling that heart up and forward. You might even float your legs and make it an upward facing dog. And with your exhale here, downward facing dog. Breathe here, friends. Take five or six long, slow breaths. Just feeling out the backs of the legs, your shoulders. Maybe close your eyes. You start to really 
grip with your hands and think of pulling those elbows inward. Notice when you do that, your shoulder blades can really slide down your back. And then maybe walk your feet back a few inches. Lift those kneecaps and see if you could drop the heels a millimeter closer to the floor. It's okay if they don't come down. Okay, not a problem, but they're moving in that direction. Okay, let's get to the second side. So grounding into your right foot, go ahead and lift up the left, big breath in as you send the left leg high. Exhale here, scoop that left knee forward and float it on the floor between your hands. We'll come up to a warrior one on this side. So we need to drop the right heel, okay? The right toes are pointed about 45 degrees out to the side. And then coming up to your warrior one. Okay, and I just wanna take some time here with you. So warrior one, hips and shoulders are facing in the direction that you're looking forward over the left knee. And you're thinking about moving that right hip forward and pulling the left hip back. Okay, dropping into the outer right foot, dropping into that left hip as well. So belly button up and in. Maybe interlace your fingers, make a little yoga gun that shoots out sparkles and point it behind you. Lift up that heart. Three more breaths, warrior one. So if you need a break, you can extend the front leg. If you're feeling pretty good about it, drop into the front knee, but make sure the front knee does not pass its foot. One more breath here, yogis. And then allow your warrior one to open out to the right into a warrior two. Shoulders open to the right, hips open to the right. I'll spin around to face you. So the legs are still super strong, okay? Nothing really changing a whole lot with the legs except the hips have shifted to face a different direction. So shoulder blades down the back. Get those legs rocking, okay? If you start to lose it, you could just extend the left leg, take a break and come back in anytime. So get your base. And with your strong, stable base, we can get more mobile up top. We can start to flow and dance a little bit. So reaching that right hand back behind you, think of sliding it down to your right leg. Inhale, lifting that left arm up. Think of a lot of space in the left side. And with your exhale, left elbow to left knee, right arm up, extended side angle, okay? Let's do that again. Inhale, exalted warrior, lifting the left arm up, big side stretch, and exhale, extended side angle, left elbow to left knee. So just find yourself a little flow, a little rhythm here. Maybe close your eyes if you like. Kind of challenging with the eyes closed. You can keep it really gentle if you like, nice and slow. Keep that left leg strong, pushing the floor, okay? okay finding a lot of length across both sides of your body. And next time you are in that Extended side angle, hold it right there and just breathe, okay? Drop nicely into the legs. Think of pushing the floor here. So option A is just to stay here and just breathe. Option B, you wanna add a little extra spice. Just drop your right hand behind your back and you can grab onto your left thigh, okay? Try that. And then you can reach the left arm out away from your right foot. So think of extending the line of your body with that left arm. Keep pushing into your legs, don't be shy. If you want two arms for more challenge, you can extend both arms out to the left. Breathe, push that floor. You feel the left leg working. Whew. All right, friends, one more huge breath in here. And then let it go. Drop your hands down under your shoulders inside that left foot. Let's pop up the right heel and bring the left leg up to three leg dog. So big breath in, bring the left leg up and out behind you. 
bring it up. And then exhale, bend the left knee, point the toes to the right as you pull back on that right hip. Pull back on the right hip. And let's drop down through the left shoulder. So left hip, shoulder down, right hip back as you lift the left knee. Scorpion, breathe into that left hip, okay? Super important that your shoulders are level with each other, okay? Do your best. Super important the right hip is moving back. You may experiment with extending the left knee for this last breath. And then we're dropping that left foot all the way back down to the right foot, okay, on the floor, back in your downward facing dog. Walk it out here, notice how you're feeling. Okay, get some good warmth all over. So we'll take another little journey through, just a little vinyasa. So feel free to skip or come along. Here we go. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling here to your hands. You can hop it or step it and fold. Roll it up, inhale, lift your heart. To the side as you exhale, pull the belly button in. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, bring it up, lift your heart. Exhale, drop it into a chair squat. Lift your heart as you drop your tailbone. Inhale, standing tall. Exhale, folding at your hips. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale for your plank. Exhale, halfway down. We're gonna do that little side plank flow. Inhale to your side plank. Just pick a side, come on up. Maybe lift the top leg, maybe drop the top knee. And exhale, halfway down. Inhale, other side plank. You choose your flavor. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, plank. Last one. Exhale, all the way down. Scrape your elbows on your ribs. Inhale for a cobra or an up dog. And exhale for downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, friends, in your last downward facing dog of this practice. Notice how it feels. Okay, walk out your heels. And then as you're ready, you can drop down to your knees. Come on down, sit your hips to one side and shake your legs out in front of you. Okay, legs nice and warm, hips nice and warm, shoulders warm. So I'd like to do a little, uh, a little work in your hips and your low back, okay? So let's bring the right foot in and just step it close to us here. So step it real close to your hips and we'll just take a little twist. So left arm is gonna hold the right leg very close. Right fingers are behind you and you can push the floor to make it a little further away from you. And then you're looking over your right shoulder. And we'll just breathe here. So you're thinking of squeezing that right leg into your heart. So squeeze it super tight. Hips are equally heavy. See if you could make them super heavy. And you have a big chest on your inhale and a strong belly on your exhale. If you want to deepen this twist, you can. With your left elbow on the outside of the right knee, you can gently press them into each other. But make sure it feels right, okay? Um, please make sure that both your hips are grounded and you still feel long and open in your chest. One more breath here.
and then let that go. Think it of rolling back towards center. So from here, face forward towards that left foot again. And we'll take the right arm inside the right leg this time, okay? And then you can just put your fingers down, one hand on either side of your left leg. And then let's get the legs nice and strong. So I want you to use your legs to resist the floor. You're using the right foot pushing down, the left leg's pushing. The legs are active. And if this feels like a lot right here, because it's kind of a funky position with the right knee up, then you can stay here. You can even lean back if that helps you to stay tall in your spine, okay? However, I'm gonna present you with the spectrum here. So the spectrum starts at just sitting up tall here. If it's okay to lean forward, see if you could walk your fingers forward towards your left foot. At that point, you might notice that your right elbow is very close to your right shin. And you can make a little chicken wing with your right arm and hook your right tricep, the back of your right arm in front of your right shin, okay? So it's kind of a funky feeling. See if you just wanna experiment with that for a little while. And this might be where you are today. You might just stay right here, just playing with this feeling, okay? Especially if you feel a lot in the back of your body. If it's fine, you're gonna bend that right elbow and try to touch your kidney, your right kidney behind you, okay? I like to think of the back of my hand being on my back. And then you're starting to hug that right knee towards you so you can feel that hugging, squeezing in feeling. Okay, if everything's going great, you're gonna send your left hand behind your back to find your right. And they're both gonna work on squeezing that knee in towards your ribs. So wherever you are is great. As long as it feels good, you're still having fun, okay? There's no pain, but you're engaged, okay? You're, you're interested. So breathe here, squeeze that leg. Think of sending your heart forward towards your left foot, and pushing the floor with both legs. So you might feel a lot of heat in that right hip here, and that's okay, okay? If you don't feel much, keep squeezing that knee in toward you. Okay, this is a really nice release for your low back. Hopefully you feel that right side getting some good love. Let's do one more really nice breath here. And let's start to release that. You can let go of the leg, roll yourself back up to a more upright posture, okay? And now we'll move a little more deeply into the hips. So pick up your right foot now and take it to the other side of your left leg. And I'm just gonna turn so you can see where my legs are, are going. So the right foot is just gonna flop over on the left. It doesn't need to be anything in particular, the foot, okay? But get your knees really close and get your thighs really close. So you can stay just like this. We'll call this a half cow face posture, okay? With the left leg straight, if this is quite enough. But if you want a little more, you can roll onto your left hip and also bend the left knee in so that your left foot comes close to your right hip. So you're basically sitting in between your feet and your knees are very close and your thighs are very close. Okay, gomukhasana, cow face pose. So you'll feel your hips talking to you already more than likely. Okay, be sure you're sitting down equally into each hip. And this is perhaps where you'll stay on the spectrum. You might just stay sitting up nice and tall. You might back it up and have one leg straight. But if everything's going great, you may also start to walk your fingers forward. And I like to use my fingers here to push into the ground to keep the hips really heavy. So I wanna encourage you to do the same. Use your fingers, push down, keep the hips on the floor, okay? Now we'll just take a few breaths here. I just want you to feel like you can explore and breathe and take your time. We have all the time in the world in this posture. 
So perhaps you come down to your elbows, perhaps you let your head hang, but no matter what you're doing, try to keep that feeling of that long spine, okay? And the grounded hips. Even if the spine starts to curl, try to keep it long. If you're feeling pretty good here and you want to really activate your legs against the floor, think of pushing down against the floor, you'll get even more release in that hip, each outer hip, the low back. Okay, activate downward. We'll take some more breath here. So continue to explore this posture. Make your neck long and soft. Press the legs against the floor. You're feeling all the tissue on the outside of each hip and melting open. So take your time walking back up out of this. There's really no rush, okay? Walk your hands back up and in. You can lean back on your hands here eventually and kick your legs out, <laughs> shake them out. And we'll just do the other side. So everything the same on the other side. So now the right leg will be the long leg. The left foot will come in and step down by your hips. So I want you to make sure your legs are active. If you wanna lean back on your hands and just sit up tall, activating the legs against the floor, flexing that right foot, then you can stay right here, okay? You can keep going if you like. Um, we're gonna twist first. So we'll take that right arm around that left leg, squeeze it tight, and then look over the left shoulder. Long spine inhales, strong belly exhales. You want to make space across your chest here. You can deepen the twist by taking the right elbow to the outer left knee. You can press them into each other. Make sure both hips are down. As you're ready, roll it out of this twist. And we'll start to fold forward and think about grabbing this left knee maybe. So left arm on the inside of the left leg, fingers down around the right leg. We'll start to crawl the fingertips forward. Okay, so this might be where you just stay. It's a good place to be. If you want to, you can think about bending that left elbow and hooking the left tricep onto your left shin. Okay, maybe this is where you stay. Maybe you loop the left hand behind. Maybe you loop the right hand behind. So no matter where you are, keep your legs strong, keep your hips grounded, and remember to breathe. If you got that leg, squeeze it nice and tight like you want to diffuse it into your ribs. I want to think of building heat in that hip. Okay, 
take your time here. Maybe one more long, slow breath. Really working in that left hip deep down. Noticing the low back maybe also. Take your time releasing yourself from this. Untangle yourself. Bring it back up. Okay. And we'll start to build a half gomukhasana, half cow face or a full cow face. So you're just picking up your left foot now. You're moving it to the other side of your right leg and you can just flop the foot on the floor. Get your knees really close and your thighs really close. So this is a half cow face. You can keep the right leg long. It's more gentle, okay? You can still fold forward from here. You can choose for the full cow face. You'll bend that right knee and sit down between your feet. Knees are still close thighs are still close. Sometimes I like to pick them up and just put them together. Make sure your hips are grounded though, okay? That's important. And then just sit up nice and tall, breathe. We'll spend a minute or two here, so get comfortable. Okay, if you wanna to start to roll your spine to kind of drape it over your legs forward, you can, but keep those hips grounded. And if you want to really get some nice opening in your hips, you're gonna activate your legs gently against the floor. Remember, it doesn't have to be a ton of activation, but you do want some. Push the floor down. Breathe into your hips, your low back. Feel free to really let your head hang here on your longest possible neck. Tune in to all the sensations that are happening around the back of each hip, the glutes, the low back, even your sacrum is just getting a little bit spread open as your knees cross each other. So a lot to think about here. As you're ready, take your time. Start to walk yourself back up and in. Okay, you can lean back on your hands, kick out your legs, and shake it out. Maybe a few windshield wipers. You might get some pops after that. And then as you're ready, friends, we're coming all the way down. So you can grab behind your knees and roll it to your back. Come down. Ah, Take a moment to hug your knees, squeeze them in by your chest. Maybe roll your knees in little circles. And maybe reverse that a few times. <clears throat> and then we're gonna release the legs all the way to the floor. So legs out long, arms out long. Ah, find yourself a very comfortable Shavasana to rest in. We made it. So just melt here. Breath becomes soft and effortless. Body becomes release, melty, just 
a puddle on the floor. And you might use your imagination here and pretend that all of your cells are breathing at the same time. I like to imagine the breath moving like a clean breeze between all my cells, cleaning out, bringing space and light. Maybe a little smile on your face as you let your jaw relax, your forehead relaxes, your eyes relax. And so please give yourself as much time as you can just to lay here and soak up your practice. Okay, soak up the magic. Let your body be still and just enjoy the sensations. Enjoy breathing slowly, easily. This is where I'll leave you for our practice today. Thanks so much for joining me.